Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Kayla and welcome. So in today's video, I'm sharing five high protein smoothie recipes that are great for muscle building, weight loss, boosting metabolism, and really just your overall health and wellness. Now when I make a protein smoothie, I try to make sure that it's not only full of protein, but that it's also packed with nutrients. Because while protein is important, getting in those vitamins, minerals, antioxidants, and phytonutrients is just as important. Remember, we want to build muscle and lose weight, but we also want to get healthier while doing it. So these protein smoothies are going to be the full package. You're going to get a well-rounded drink that has your healthy proteins, fats, fiber, and nutrients, which means that you can use them as a meal replacement if you're trying to lose weight or as a post-workout drink if you're trying to build muscle. But anyway, as always, the recipes and the macros will be listed on my blog, which I will leave linked for y'all in the description box below. But let's head to the kitchen and get started. First up, we're going to make my glowing banana beet protein smoothie and just look how gorgeous this color is. I'm gonna add in one frozen banana to the blender. This is gonna give it a creamier texture and sort of mask the strong taste of the beet. But of course, the beet is the star ingredient of this smoothie. Beets are a great source of folate. They also contain an amino acid called betaine, which can help to prevent and reduce the accumulation of fat in the liver. And I call this my glowing banana beet smoothie because beets help to purify the blood, which in turn helps to keep your skin healthy and vibrant. And another cool thing about beets is that they can help to improve your energy levels thanks to the naturally occurring nitrates. So if you can't tell, I'm pretty much obsessed with beets and I try to include them in my smoothies or my juice recipes a few times a week. I'm also gonna add in two tablespoons of chia seeds to get in some healthy fats and fiber. one tablespoon of almond butter and it doesn't really matter which brand of almond butter you use just make sure that it has no added oils or sugars the juice from half of a lemon this is going to give it a little bit of a tang and provide extra vitamin c now protein powder is actually optional for these smoothies because they already contain a decent amount of protein anyway but i like to add in my collagen peptides which supplies an additional nine grams of protein per scoop and it's great for supporting the health of my hair skin nails and digestion add in some water or whatever your favorite unsweetened nut milk is you can also use oat milk blend that all up until it's extra smooth and this is hands down one of my favorite protein smoothies not just in terms of taste because because it is delicious, but mainly because of all of the amazing health benefits from the beetroot. And this smoothie contains 430 calories with 19 and a half grams of protein. Next, I'm making my everything green superfood protein smoothie. Let's start with one Granny Smith apple. You can use any apple variety with this smoothie, but I like the tanginess of the green apple and the Granny Smith variety actually has slightly less sugar than the other varieties. Make sure you get all those seeds out and add that to the blender. Then let's chop up one zucchini. And if you don't like zucchini, you can substitute with a cucumber. Also, you can pre-freeze the sliced zucchini and that's gonna give the smoothie a creamier texture. One kiwi, which is packed with vitamin C and kiwis are also great for your eyes, heart, digestion, and overall immune system. Half of a ripe avocado to get in those extra fats, fiber, and nutrients. And just like with the zucchini, you can slice up your avocado and pre-freeze it in advance. And this is gonna give the smoothie a creamier texture. One teaspoon of matcha powder, which is a great natural energy booster. And matcha has actually been shown to boost metabolism. Of course, one to two scoops of your favorite healthy protein powder. And by the way, I'll be adding in just one scoop of the protein powder to each of the smoothies today. One handful of spinach for extra fiber and minerals, some unsweetened almond milk. And this protein smoothie is not only packed with protein, but it has tons of nutrients, natural fibers, and antioxidants, so it's super healthy. And I like to drink this one either in the morning or in the early afternoons for an extra boost of energy, but I wouldn't recommend drinking this one at night because it might be a little too energizing for you thanks to the caffeine content in the matcha powder. So this smoothie contains 415 calories and 18 and a half grams of protein. This next one tastes so good you have to try it. It's my orange creamsicle protein smoothie. Start by peeling one orange 
don't forget to remove the seeds. Of course, oranges are a great source of vitamin C. And vitamin C, by the way, is not only great for boosting immunity, but it's also an essential building block to collagen production. So including lots of vitamin C rich foods is not only gonna keep you healthy, but it's also gonna provide you with anti-aging benefits. Half a cup of carrots, which are actually a great source of fiber, and that fiber is gonna to help to control cravings and keep you fuller longer. Two tablespoons of hemp seeds to get in those healthy fats, and hemp seeds have sort of a neutral taste, so they blend very well with any smoothie recipe. One tablespoon of unsweetened almond butter or any nut butter that you prefer. One to two scoops of your favorite healthy protein powder. 1 4 teaspoon of vanilla extract and for this smoothie I do recommend using a milk base instead of water because it makes it taste a little bit more cream sickly I guess if that makes sense <laughs> it just gives it a thicker texture and a more creamy texture so I'm gonna be using almond milk blend all that up and when I tell you that this is one of the best tasting smoothies I've ever made trust me you have to try it and this smoothie comes in at 385 calories with 22 and a half grams of protein. This next one is for all my chocolate lovers out there. It's my brownie oatmeal protein smoothie. Start with adding half of a frozen banana to the blender. Now, if you want more sweetness, you can add a whole banana. One fourth cup of rolled oats. One tablespoon of unsweetened almond butter to get in those healthy fats and to keep you fuller longer. One tablespoon of cacao powder, which is a great source of magnesium and helps to naturally boost serotonin levels, which is the happy hormone, and I'm sure we can all use a little bit more of that these days. One tablespoon of ground flax seeds for the extra fiber and fats. One to two scoops of your favorite protein powder. And this is optional, but I like to add in one fourth teaspoon of cinnamon because I love the flavor that it gives and it helps to balance blood sugar levels. Add in some unsweetened nut or oat milk. And if you're a chocolate lover, you are gonna love this protein smoothie. And this one comes in at 380 calories with 20 grams of protein. And lastly, we have my strawberry cheesecake protein smoothie. Now this one does contain dairy, just FYI. You're gonna need one cup of frozen strawberries. And to be honest, any type of frozen berries tastes great with this recipe. Half a cup of organic cottage cheese, which by the way, is a great source of protein on its own. In fact, one half cup contains 14 grams of protein. Two tablespoons of ground flax seeds. The healthy fats and fiber in these will help to keep you fuller longer. One to two scoops of protein powder. One fourth teaspoon of vanilla extract and some unsweetened nut or oat milk. And this smoothie actually contains the most protein out of all of them, thanks to the cottage cheese, coming in at 310 calories and 28 grams of protein. But all of these protein smoothies are super delicious. You really can't go wrong with any of them. And they're packed with nutrients, antioxidants, and healthy proteins that are going to help to build muscle naturally and improve your overall wellness. All right, y'all, that is it for today's video. Five high protein smoothie recipes. Of course, if you give these smoothies a try, comment below, let me know how you liked them. And don't forget, you can tag me in your recipe photos over on Instagram, and I will reshare those on my stories. I like to see y'all recreate my recipes and hearing your feedback on how you like them. Don't forget that the recipes and the macros will be listed on my blog. That's linked in the description box below. Um, and if you're enjoying my healthy meal preps and my healthy recipe videos like this, this, give this one a thumbs up to let me know and I'll continue to make more like them and if you haven't subscribed yet what are you waiting on <laughs> hit that subscribe button below but that is it for today I will see y'all in the next video bye